Families are quickly learning how to overcome the challenges of distance learning, but what happens when the classroom goes dark? As News Tally's Gustavo Ogain reports tonight, utility companies are urging anyone who can't pay their bill to reach out for help. The desk and tablets are already set up at David Lester's house for his kids' first day of school. But during orientation, the power cut off. The big problem was that we couldn't power up the tablets, there was no Wi-Fi, so now my kids can't go to school. Lester found out he owed PSO more than $300 on his latest bill. While trying to figure out how he was going to pay for it, he had to explain to his kids why they weren't going to finish school. I have two little kids who are excited about going to school, and it dawns on me now that if I can't keep things where they need to be, then my kids don't get to go to school. And uh, that was real emotional. Lester says he's working two jobs to make extra money after getting laid off this year. The new reality for many families due to COVID-19. PSO spokesperson Stan Whiteford says the company is willing to work with those in need. But the call for help needs to be made as soon as possible. We want to make sure that customers call us first before something happens that they get a disconnect notice or are actually disconnected. They can avoid that completely if they call us first. The power is now back on in the Lester home after paying the bill. He says he understands he made a mistake. However, he says families should have some sort of protection when electricity is needed for their kids to go to school. Nobody should have to worry about their kids and if they can go to school or not. This is a hard enough time for everybody um, without having to stress on whether or not my kids are going to be able to get an education. Lester says he's calling on city or county leaders to help make that change, to give parents some security when an electricity bill can derail a school year. Gustavo Alguin, News Channel 8. PS host says the company has also extended help with payments to businesses during this pandemic. We'll have the number you can call with this story at K2L.com.